It's a trap. What is up guys, Out27HD here, we are back with a Team of the Week player review and this week we are going Argentinian, we are in the Serie A and we are looking at Inform Palacio, first Inform Palacio, he normally plays on the right wing, right mid position but they have upgraded his Inform to a striker and... I really, really enjoyed using this guy. He's not the cheapest in the world. I was surprised. I think he's around about the 200k mark on PS3, maybe a tiny bit more. Um, I'm not sure what he is on Xbox because obviously I don't have one. But there is in-game stats. His uh, card face stats, guys, as you can see on the screen there. 89 passing, 87 dribbling, 84 shot, 80 passing. Uh, sorry, 89 pace, 80 passing. So as you can see there, guys, four stats in the 80s. He's also got, as you can see there, a four-star skill moves and a three-star weak foot. We're playing him on the right-hand side of defense, guys. And I will show you the team that I am playing him in now, give you an idea of who we have had around him. So that is the team we are playing him in, guys. We've got Di Natale in form, second in form, Hamsik, Vidal, Inla. Uh, inform Chiellini, Inform Lamella, Up El Shawawe, Ogbonna, etc, etc, etc. So a real good, solid team. And I really, really, really enjoyed this guy. I surprised myself. I picked him up. Atani told me that he was really decent in the right mid, right wing position. And suggested I try him out. Um, so I did pick him up. I paid, I think, 240k for the guy. Uh, 260k, 240k, something along those lines. I don't think I lost much money on him when I sold him but let's have a look at his in-game stats guys and see how they assist him so as you can see here we'll make our way down to palacios in-game stats 90 ball control 92 finishing 86 long shots being standout also 93 pens you've got an 84 on the shot power and really decent volleys at 86 low defensive work rate medium attacking work rate you would ideally like a high attacking work rate there but as you can see really good solid green stats decent acceleration decent sprint speed good balance and agility and he felt a lot faster than he actually was guys and decent attacking position as well that's one thing i found he seems so much faster in game than his in-game stats would suggest which doesn't happen often usually they're not far off right but as you can see here guys it gets played up to palacio and watch this acceleration guys and he has a thumping shot on him very unlucky just clips the top of the crossbar there once again el shawale plays it up to palacio and he is unlucky, just dinks off the post not to score there and forces the keeper into a good save. And unlucky he's offside because he does a cheeky little back heel as well. So how did I find him? I found him very occasionally out of position. Didn't happen that often. I thought it would have happened more than it did. But um, occasionally he does wander out of position. But he wasn't so far that he was kind of right back in the midfield, that kind of thing. He has a lovely free kick on him. Uh, very unlucky not to score this free kick. Just dink off the post. He seemed to be a bit like Liverpool for me last season. Every single thing that he hit seems to hit the post. But he has a pace on him that is epic, guys. And a lovely finish. And I see what I mean. Sets up Di Natale for the finish. But a hell of a thunderous shot. And once again, off the post, it just seemed like, go in for God's sake. But as you can see here, guys, he makes no mistake when he does get the opportunity. And he just slots it home there past the keeper. I thought he was absolutely fantastic. I thought he was well above average. You know, I got players around this money for like the likes of Inform Walcott, who was pretty decent. That kind of thing. I also got players around this money, the likes of Inform Hernandez, who I didn't think was decent. This guy is on the much better end of the spectrum if that makes sense what's this guy's lovely bit of skill to get past and a peach of a finish as well and I thought he was really, really good. Scored a fair few goals for me. Had some cracking long shots. Some great hits off the post. And thoroughly enjoyable to use. So let's have a look at some pros. Let's have a look at some cons. And we'll give this guy an ultimate rating. So is pros, guys. We are looking at a powerful shot. Really, really powerful, decent shot. Fantastic pace. 
He's really, really quick. He feels faster than his in-game stats would suggest. Same with the strength. He feels stronger and can shrug people off better. And for me, he felt suited to that striker role. Um, you know, good dribbler as well. Really good dribble on him. Let's look at his cons. Very few cons with this guy. But his cons, mainly for me, were odd work rates. What that meant was that occasionally he slipped out of position. He was a really good striker and he did a lot of damage for me. But occasionally he slipped out of position. But I wasn't that bothered when he was in the cam position or dropped back to that kind of level because he was able to do some damage from that position. So we're going to give him a 9 out of 10, guys. Only knocked back a little bit by those odd work rates. But generally a fantastic player. Really good stats. Really good to control in-game. Felt really sharp and tight and a really good player. So that is my opinion, guys. 9 out of 10. Hopefully you've enjoyed the review. Please like, sub, comment, take care. Peace, love, and catch you later.